Tonight, rescue shelters have stepped in to save dozens of animals in danger in Adams County. A woman's farm has grown out of control and her animals are in need of food and veterinary care. Well, now the community is coming together to help. Good evening. I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. Our Dylan Thomas is live. And Dylan, today animal lovers from across the metro area pitched in to help with these rescues. Kathy, normally those in downtown Denver that love farm animals have to come here to the National Western Complex to interact with them at the stock show. But today, dozens actually headed northeast of Denver to a local animal sanctuary to help them save those animals. I just freaking love goats. From goats to cows, <laughs> chickens, roosters, and sheep. They needed a lot of love and attention. Farm animal lovers from across the Denver metro area made their way to the town of Henderson to help them uh, thrive so they're not suffering anymore. That's because recently the Broken Shovel Farm received a plea for help. There was a, a need for an immediate rescue of about 35 goats. But what was 35 goats turned into about 70 animals. An Adams County farm had grown out of control, leaving alpaca and goats malnourished and matted. Like Paul here, who is um, in his 20s. Paul, for example, needs work on his teeth so he can eat and gain weight. The vet bills have already been overwhelming. They're so hungry and there's so many of them that it's really taking a lot of food and a lot of vet care to bring them back into shape. Which is why strangers packed the farm Sunday, donating money to, in turn, spend some quality time with their favorite animals. They're so cute. With the money donated, three area rescues hope to bring the animals back to good health and then hopefully next to a good home. Oh, I love you so much, Paul. <laughs> now, the organizations involved tell me there are still plenty of animals on that one farm that need to be rescued, and they're hoping to claim them here pretty soon. They also say this is a prime example of why it's important not just to spay and neuter your cats and dogs, but also your farm animals if you happen to have any. Live in Denver, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.